This is LeBron James after he won a championship with Cleveland, the first in franchise history. This is Giannis after winning his first championship. Here is another picture of Giannis's reaction. This is Kobe and Shaq after they won a championship. And here's a picture of Joel Embiid not winning a championship. You see the emotions that are going on? This is Nikola Jokic after winning his first championship and ending the longest drought in NBA history of, you know, amount of years that you were franchised without a championship. Can't you see how excited he looks? And here's another picture of a reaction of Nikola Jokic winning the NBA championship. Do you get what I'm getting at here? The Nuggets just won the NBA Finals, and Nikola Jokic doesn't give a sh**. He's just sitting there with their sponsored Mikola Ultra, just chilling. He's got goggles on, at least. Hi, I'm Crafty. I'm here to tell you about the guy that plays basketball for a job, and not because he loves basketball. In my last video, I gave a little snippet. Isaiah Thomas even went on Through the Wire and talked about how he doesn't even know if Jokic loves basketball. He just does it because he's good at it. But after winning the NBA championship yesterday, and he gave us some of the most boring reactions we have ever seen, I'm convinced that Nikola Jokic plays basketball the same way that me and you, if you're old enough to have a job, go to work every day. That's it. It's just his job. Hey, what's up? So, uh, I'm, I'm stalling, uh, cause this Jokic LinkedIn page took like 10 minutes to make, so I just wanted to keep it up on screen for a little bit longer. Alright, back to what I was saying. What would your reaction be if you had just won the NBA freaking championship? Let me give you what my reaction would be, okay? A picture of this. Um, I'm getting super wasted, and I am having a great day. I'm smiling. I'm laughing. I am having the greatest day of my life. In fact, the thing that I would actually be the most excited about, personally, is the parade. Everyone in the city coming out being like, oh my god, you guys did it. Well, let's go team. Woo! And if I was the star player on said championship team, it would be even better if everyone's sitting there going, Going, crafty, crafty, crafty. So obviously you guys can tell that my dream of being in the NBA uh, didn't pan out very well. So anyway, that would be my reaction. I'm sure that would be a lot of people's reactions, in fact. But what is what is Jokic's reaction? We really need to know. Yeah, now you are an NBA champion, Nicola. How does that feel? It's good. It's good. The job is done. We can go home now. This man, in case you forgot, was drafted during an NBA commercial with the 41st pick in the 2014 draft. The quesarito turned out to be more important that night than Nikola Jokic. And then he wins an NBA championship. He silences all the haters. And what does he have to say? It's good. It's good. Mac and cheese is good. Winning the NBA championship and winning the NBA finals is awesome. It's amazing. There's so many better words. But what did he say after it's good? Oh, he said something along the lines of, oh, I can go home now. But all this man is thinking about is going home and seeing his freaking horses. The difference between Jokic and Jamal Murray is absolutely insane right now. Jamal Murray has a lot to look forward to when he gets home. I'm not going to elaborate anymore on that. You guys know what I'm talking about. 2020 bubble. And Jokic just wants to see his horses. Oh shoot, but I mentioned a parade earlier. Is, is Jokic even excited about this parade? So I'm curious what you are feeling right now and if you're looking forward to a parade coming up in Denver. When is parade? When is parade? Thursday. No. I need to go home. He's not even looking forward to the parade. He doesn't care. He just wants to go home. <laughs> and in other interviews that I can't find on YouTube right now because I'm in a little bit of a rush, I have some stuff I gotta get done after this film. He is just talking about, oh, well, his horses are racing Thursday, so he's hoping he can make it home after the parade on Thursday. I don't remember which MVP of his two, by the way, this was. But it's the same guy who got eliminated from the playoffs and was going to win the MVP and wasted no time, went home, is at his horse stable and accepted his MVP award. He won most valuable player in all of the NBA and accolade 99% of NBA players will never even sniff. And he accepted it with the most humble beginnings, just like Jesus when he came out of the womb in a stable. In case there were to happen to be any sort of outrage, I, I wasn't comparing Nikola Jokic to Jesus. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. They completed, you know, the impossible ending the longest NBA championship drought in NBA history. Congratulations to Nikola Jokic, even though I don't think I even need to tell him congratulations because he doesn't care. Okay, so a little sidebar in the video. I do say a lot in this video, and I, even in the title of the video, I guess, that Jokic doesn't care, and I, I'm not saying that in like a bad way. I'm talking in a good way, I guess. The whole point that I was trying to make in most of this video is, yeah, Jokic doesn't really seem like he cares about basketball, but obviously he does or else he wouldn't do it. I'm not trying to make an accusation that Nikola Jokic should be in any way docked in his greatness or anything because he doesn't care about basketball. I just don't think that he eats, sleeps, and breathes basketball like everybody else in the NBA does. It's not necessarily a bad thing, and it's not necessarily a good thing, but I feel like some people were, were going to take this wrong because I didn't 
clarify in the video. So now I am clarifying in the video. Okay, continue with what you were watching. It's been a great NBA season. Now this year, I didn't even start making reactionary content or content about the NBA on this YouTube channel until the playoffs. You guys have been killing it. I mean, look at look at some of these views. I am more than blessed to have you guys watching my video right now. And now the season is over and we're into the off season. We're going to be talking about a whole lot of stuff over the off season. We're going to be talking about trades. We're going to be talking about Adam Silver's master plan to make sure John Morant never plays basketball again. It's going to be a great off season and I'm more than thankful that you guys have decided to join me along this journey throughout the playoffs and now into the off season and I can't wait to start next season with you guys. If you don't want to miss any videos, please subscribe, hit that that bell notification button or whatever, I don't know. It would really help me out and it would really help about the channel and me as a Dallas Mavericks fan I could use some hope right now popping up on the screen right now is gonna be two videos I think you guys would enjoy and a subscribe button in the middle in case you're too lazy to scroll down and hit subscribe I understand I'm lazy too I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day I love you and God loves you crafty is out